Hello everybody, Mark from Burton Bibles back with another uh, quick video um, update uh, for the channel. I have been looking at a couple of uh, newer products recently for Bible marking. I just thought I'd share a couple of things with you uh, in this video. Um, obviously Bible marking is a big thing that um, I'm enthusiastic about and that I believe in. I think it's a great thing for people to uh, deeper engage with the Word of God by actually marking their Bibles, underlying things that they appreciate and that they like. Um, it helps to commit them to memory, it stimulates further thought, and to build up um, that commentary in your own Bible, uh, that conversation, if you like, with the Scriptures is a really, really good thing, and I, and I do strongly uh, encourage it. So hopefully that's something that you're doing already, and if you're not doing it yet, then maybe you'll be thinking about uh, giving it a go in your own Bibles. Um, and hopefully you've got a pen, uh, something similar to this. So this is a Sakura, I think they pronounce it, Pigma Micron 005 in red. And that's what I've been using to go through the Gospel of Luke and just to make a few observations, make a few notes, and uh, and it works very well. And hopefully you've got that, or perhaps you're using something like the, the Pilot, the GTEC C4s, which I've also used to mark the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, not Matthew, sorry, Mark. Uh, that was all done with the, uh, the GTEC uh, C4. And these pens will will not go through your page, um, and they they're just great for Bible marking. Um, so, hopefully, you're doing something like that. Um, but I wanted to go over something with you that uh, I'd uh, discovered, um, and that is uh, I've discovered a range of highlighters um, that I think are good for Bible marking. And highlighters is always something that I've not um, used in my Bible because obviously you've got a you know you've got a thick uh, wet uh, chisel tip, um, felt tip, and obviously that was probably going to be a no-go. But um, I have actually discovered that that I think these are actually pretty good for uh, Bible marking. So, for example, if we uh, give this a go in the in my Oxford Wide Margin, which is a Bible that I've been marking for a few years, and we'll have a look at um, uh, Luke chapter 9 verse 58 now this is where the Lord says the foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the son of man hath not where to lay his head so there's a number of things you could do with that verse if you wanted to um, you know mark it out for memory for example you could uh, you could simply draw um, around the verse just to give it to make it pop if you like um, out of the page and I'll do that like this or you could have uh, you could underline it so I'm just showing this by way of demonstration. I don't usually use a ruler to underline. I just got a bit um, a bit fed up with uh, with uh, getting the ruler out all the time, and sometimes the ruler would smudge and things like that. So I, I don't tend to use a ruler. I've got a reasonably steady hand, um, so I just uh, do it freehand. Um, or alternatively, um, you could use the highlighter to highlight uh, that verse. And I'm conscious that I've just put some ink down, so hopefully uh, that is uh, pretty much dry now. But we could do that as well, so let's uh, give that a go. Now this is green, but other colours are available. There's neon colours like green, yellow, um, like a reddy, pinky sort of colour, all the sort of gaudy highlighters. But they're not they're actually quite subtle once you get them on the page. Um, and you can also get uh, pastel colours, so much softer uh, colours in this range of highlighters. It's the Pilot Friction. So Pilot, uh, a Japanese manufacturer, and uh, Friction is spelled F-R-I-X-I-O-N. Um, these highlighters I've been very impressed with, and, and one of the um, impressive things about it is that, uh, is that these highlighters actually erase as well. By using the, uh, the stub of the end of the pen, you can actually take the highlighter off by friction. Now obviously you don't want to be going at your Bible like that, but if you did get a dab uh, of ink where you didn't want it, for example I've just put um, a little spot uh, here, uh, we could go over that with the stub and take that off the page. And now there's nothing, you can't see where that uh, bit of green was. There's our highlighting, um, which should be pretty dry now. As you can see, it doesn't seem to uh, damage the page. Um, and if you turn over the page in this Oxford Wide Margin, which is heavier paper, something like 40, 
40 GSM or something like that, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, you can't see that at all. It should be round about there um, is verse 58. So if we go to the other side, it should be where verse 7 is um, of Luke 10. And as you can see, you can't see that coming through the page. And if we turn over this page, you can't see it coming through this page either. So yeah, really impressed with those highlighters. There's a range of colours. Depends how you feel about highlighting your Bible. But if you did want to mark your Bible with something a little bit heavier, a little bit standout-ish than this. So if you wanted to draw some lines or highlight some blocks of text or, or use a colour-coded system and, you know, and put a bit of uh, green next to something in the margin, these are safe. I mean, I've tried it in this Bible, I've tried it in my uh, Crossway ESV Legacy Bible, which again uses a, a better quality paper. Um, I would, I've would. i also uh, tried it in this, which is a Cambridge Personal Concord, which uses a slightly heavier paper. It's not India paper. It is um, uh, what they call Bible paper, so it's probably something in the order of 30 GSM, maybe a little bit more. Um, and there we have it. I highlighted here um, Psalm 119 uh, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And you can see nothing coming through the other side. I also did a verse here, um, 162. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. And again, nothing coming through the other side. So you're safe even on paper like this and this is a bible that perhaps you wouldn't think about marking it's not wide margin and perhaps you maybe haven't realized it but i just want to shout this bible out because i've also done some marking in a, a zero one pigma micron and my zero zero five uh, pigma micron and both of these underlining um, sections here absolutely nothing coming through the page you can't even see even a faint bit of ghosting really so I want to shout this Bible out because this is a really low cost Bible. Um, it's also available. It's one of the cheapest Bibles that we sell here at Burn Bibles. Uh, here it is bound in the imitation leather, um, which is quite attractive actually. I quite like that uh, that green spine. It, it looks it's something a bit different, uh, and I quite like it. It's this one doesn't have the thumb index, but I want to shout it out because you can actually mark it. You can underline verses. You can highlight verses in here. So if you wanted a, tr a full reference Bible, it's got your centre column references, it's got a full concordance in the back and dictionary. So it's got quite a few substantial helps in the back as well as your 15 Bible maps and a glossary. So I want to shout this Bible out because it's compact, it's hand sized, it's very reasonable. This is £31.50 I think on our website at the moment. This one's a bit more, this one's something like 45 quid. Uh, this one's bound in French Morocco. Um, French Morocco leather actually this is the thumb index one so this will be a bit more probably about 55 something like that um, but without the thumb index it's below 50 pounds for sure um, so I just want to shout those Bibles out these two you perhaps wouldn't have thought about marking but you can mark them um, and these highlighters um, are certainly a, a good option for you um, also just want to show you very quickly um, I ordered these today, uh, well the other day, and they arrived with me today. Um, they were reasonable, they are about 12 quid for a, a pack of six, and they're the Stadler um, pigment liners. Um, so I thought, well, we'll give them a go, and we'll see if we can, uh, we'll see if they're a decent option for Bible marking, because I like the colours that, that came with them. They are 0.3 millimetre, so they are a little bit bigger than these. These are 0.25, I think, or 0. 28, something like that and this 005 for example is 0.2 millimeter so they're a little bit thicker than that um, all I will say about them is and we'll turn to my handy dandy uh, Bible marking test page here which I thoroughly recommend that you do um, all I will say is and I'm apologies that I'm uh, knocking the camera I'll try not to do that pigment liner 0.3 is in my Oxford wide margin it's not too bad with the thicker uh, paper so you'll probably be okay um, in paper of this thickness but I tried it in a Bible with thinner paper and I don't think it is is, is suitable it, it did show through a little bit 
um, certainly in ghosting, not so much in uh, actually bleeding through. But um, so I would just say yes, the pigment liner in these multicolors are a great a great thing to have um, with all those colors. But you're probably looking at back to the pigment micron to get your rainbow of colors in a in a pen that you can use in, on thinner paper. These I would only use perhaps in my Oxford wide margin, and to be honest, the, um, the, the it's a little bit too thick. If I'm writing, I really want to be writing in something you know a bit smaller, something like the, the Pigma Micron. There, it's a little bit too thick. That is for doing small writing. So, yeah, um, that was just something that I discovered. So perhaps use that for other note taking uh, purposes. But certainly, you know, big shout out to these uh, pilot frictions they are really good um, I'll be getting some more colours of these and I might even take some along to events um, where Burton Bibles we're going to be exhibiting and I'll probably give these away free as I will be giving um, Pigma Microns away free um, to people who you know to people who, who buy a Bible and are interested in Bible marking and we'll just give those away um, and encourage them to mark their Bibles and study. So that's all for right now. Um, just reviewing those um, few Bible marking um, bits and bobs. So hopefully we'll see you another time and goodbye.